So let's try to solve this problem using what we already know about Lisp. And what we first need to do is look at what the list is made of. So I see that this BC is one single list. And then the next one would be this A and D. So this list has A as an element, a list of BC as an element, and then D as an element. And then these parentheses match up with each other. So this is one whole list. Then the next set of parentheses, okay, I see this D, E is a list, and then C and B are the next set of parentheses that line up together, and then we have this set of parentheses. So that's a list of B, and then a second list of all of this junk, and then we have this one last list encompassing all of them. So I see that we have one, two elements right now in this whole list. Okay, let's move on. So this ABC is just one element. And then here I see the E and D packed together. A and B are packed together. Then we come out. Oh, we also have the C, E, and D together. Okay, so now we can come out of here and connect these outer parentheses. And then we also have this parenthesis connecting to this one, I believe. So we have that. So X is all of this. And it has four elements. It has this one, this one, this small one, and then finally this fourth one here. Okay, so let's see what it's telling us to do. First is cutter, which remember, cuts off the first one. So this whole thing, this whole first one is gone. So we now have one, two, three elements in our list. Now we must reverse them. So we have this first item, which has a list ED, and then the single element B, and then another list AC, and then a list with C, E, D. So that's our first element. And then this one still stays in the middle. It's just a list of A, B, C. And I'm going to draw these in so we remember that there are three elements. And the last one is a list of B. And then we have parentheses C, parentheses D, E, and then B, then we have two parentheses, and then an A. So this is the third element in our list. Okay, so we did cutter, we did reverse, now we do car, which is you take only the first element. So these two are gone. So it's looking a lot better now and a lot less complex. So now we have to reverse it. Okay, so Let's see what our components of this list are. We have this one list, single element, another list, and one last list. So this has four elements, which we have to reverse. So going from backwards to forwards, we have a list of C, E, D. Then we have this A, C list, a single element B, and the list with E and D. Okay, so now we're on to the cutter step, which takes out the first one. So now we're left with these three. Then we cut out the first one again, and then we cut out the first one again. So we're left with ED as a list, and that's our answer.